What up, YouTube? Tim Moose here. The winners has been announced for the upcoming for uh, the New York Film Critics Circle, um, and the winners for the um awards includes pre uh, pretty much uh you know um is a film that you probably most likely haven't really heard of much or and all that, but yeah, not a whole lot of films that got released this year. So yeah. Anyway, best film the winner went to First Cow. Best Director, Chloe Zio for No Man Land, which I got really checked that one out. I mean, that actually looks really good. Best Screenplay, Eliza Hitman for Never Rarely, Sometimes Always, which, by the way, that movie is actually my top 10 favorite of the year. That movie is. I know, um, obviously, there's not really a whole lot of great stuff that got released this year because, you know, the pandemic and all. But I'm not going to lie. Never Rarely, Sometimes Always is terrific. I just saw it literally about the dirt times on TV. It's a terrific film. If you guys haven't seen that, then forget we go. Anyway, Best Actress went to Sydney Flanagan for Never Rarely, Sometimes Always, which that girl's going to be a star, by the way. Uh, Best Actor went to Delroy Lindo for The Five Blood. Best Supporting Actress went to Maria Bakalova for Borat's subsequent movie film. Best Supporting Actor went to Chadwick Boseman for The Five Blood. Best Foreign Language went to uh, Bagarook. Best Cinematography went to Small Acts. Best Nonfiction Film went to uh, Time. Best First Feature Film went to Rod and Blank for the 40 Year Version. Best Animated Film went to Wolf Walkers. Special Awards went to Spike Lee and Kino uh, Lover. Some pretty good stuff. Now, not always the uh, winner of the f um, New York Film Critics Circles usually will win. I believe last year it was Adam Sandler who uh, won the same award for uh, Uncut Gems. And yes, he did not get a nomination for the Oscars. So, not all the time does this uh, New York film critic circle predicts the Oscars or whatnot. But some really interesting stuff. I mean, First Cow's a pretty good film. So, cool that that one, I think, uh, never really sometimes always show one. But, yeah. Have not really seen No Man Land, but hey, with Chloe Zio, uh, you know, winning lots of awards, this could boast great for the upcoming Eternals movie. So I mean, just think of it. If uh, Chloe Zio, Zio, which by the way, if she wins the Oscar for Best Director, she's actually gonna be the first Asian female to win a Best Director at the Oscar. So there's a little, uh, you know, she's if she wins the Oscar for a uh, Best Director, sh she's pretty much uh, gonna make history. And not to mention, if Chloe Zio wins the Oscar for Best Director for uh, Nomadland at the Oscars, that could easily boost uh, the Eternals strength because they're going to be like, oh, wow, this is a film director who uh, directed the Eternals just won an Oscar. So, yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how the Eternals um, shape up. But, uh, yeah, Never Really, Sometimes, Always is probably my favorite film out of this list. It's... It's a terrific one. And, of course, Borat's subsequent uh, movie film was pretty good. Lots of really good stuff on here. Anyway, uh, it's nice that Chadwick Boseman and the, is receiving a post uh award. Well-deserving there. I, I kind of would have expected him to possibly win for uh, Ma Rainey's Black Bottom. But he was pretty good in The Five Blood, so no complaint there. Anyway, let me leave you guys. Uh, what did you do of the winners of the... Uh, of the New York Film Critic uh, Circle Awards. Are there any surprises? Uh, are there any other not, um, winners you think should have won instead? Drop comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell for more notifications. This is Simu signing off.